close your eyes, try to get grounded in the body. Think of your awareness going all the way down to the tips of your toes, soles of your feet. Think of the breath energy going through the soles of your feet down into the ground. Because the mind needs to be well grounded. Otherwise it gets blown around by the wind. There's an image in the canon of a stone pillar, sixteen spans tall, eight spans buried in the ground. No matter which direction the wind comes from, the pillar doesn't shake. That's the kind of mind you want to develop. Otherwise, material gain comes, you get blown one way. Loss comes, you get blown another way. Status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These things blow you around. We tend to see the drawbacks only of the negative ones, the loss, the loss of status, criticism, and pain. But the so-called positive ones have their drawbacks, too. You get careless, you get complacent. You think you have power that you can use any way you want. And that's that cartoon in the New Yorker said one time, two congressmen walking away from the Capitol. One of them saying to the other, why well, use his power if you can't abuse it? And that's what happens. People get careless and they start abusing their power, their gain, their status. They let the people praising them go to their head, and they end up doing all kinds of unskillful things. So realize even that the good things of the world have their dangers. At the same time, you should realize that the bad things of the world have their good side. When there's loss of wealth, loss of status, you learn who your true friends are. When someone offers you criticism, you have a chance to look at yourself, see is the criticism fair? If it's not, then you've learned something about that other person. If it is fair, then you've learned something about yourself that you can do, that you can work on. Pain is also useful. As the Buddha said, it was through understanding pain that he gained his awakening. So you have to have a neutral attitude toward these things. When the good side comes, you don't get carried away. When the bad side comes, you don't get depressed. You look to see what use can you get out of these things. And that way your mind is like that pillar. It doesn't get blown around by the wind. It blows from the north, the south, east, west, northeast, southwest, southeast, northwest. It doesn't matter which direction. It doesn't move. You want a mind that's not blown away by things. And a good place to start is getting yourself grounded here in the body and having a firm sense that you're grounded on the earth. That's the kind of solidity you need if you want to live in this world and not suffer. If you want to live in this world and not start doing unskillful things, ground your mind as you go through the whole day.